Okay, guys. So for the 4.3 homework number two, um, I wanted to go over a couple of these questions. Um, this is really this is a really good paper. When I handed this paper out at, uh, in class, when we were allowed in class, um, it was a really good paper because it really does a good job of explaining, first of all, the four steps to solving the problem. So we find out what we're solving for. We write the equation for that. We rewrite it, but we take the variables from the problem and put it in there, and then we solve to check our work. This is the same process we've used since we went into over Newton's second law and the calculations for that. It goes over what acceleration is. It's the rate of the change in the velocity of an object. Okay. And it shows us the rearranged formulas for solving for A, T, BI, and VF. It talks about what those are. And then it gives us examples of each type of problem. So this paper is a lot like what um, a physics textbook might show you. Okay, it talks about all the different relationships and it gives us examples of each. I wanna go and so here's our example for acceleration, our example for finding time interval, our example for looking for final velocity and our example for finding initial velocity. And it's kind of in order from the easiest to the hardest. Um, that's kind of how those are arranged. So we're going to look at problem number one. Okay. It says, while traveling along a highway, a driver slows from 24 meters per second to 15 meters per second in 12 seconds. What is the automobile's acceleration? It says to remember that a negative value indicates slowing down or deceleration. So we want to know what its deceleration is. So we would look at our example up above. If we weren't sure what to do here, we could just look at our example. Um, and then we saw, we begin with step number one. Okay, step number one is to decide which equation we're going to use. What it asks directly, it says, what is the automobile's acceleration? That tells us that we're going to use our A equation right away. A equals VF minus VI over T. And we remember that sometimes this value up here is already done for us, right? Sometimes that's already done for us, but, but in this case, it's not. So we've got step one finished, A equals VF minus VI over T. Step two is to figure out what is the final velocity. What is the velocity later in time in this question? Before I address that, I'm going to see what this question is in the chat. Um, Okay, so uh, we're going to decide VF. VF is the thing that happened later. It's the velocity at the end of the problem, the final velocity. So it says, while traveling along, the driver slows from 24 to 15 meters per second. That tells us that 15 meters per second happens later. This is VF. That makes this VI. Okay. So A equals 15 minus 24. Well, as Mr. Wayne just went over in you guys' um, algebra class, the algebra lecture he just did, we need to get comfortable with having negative values, with having negative numbers. Okay? 15 minus 24 divided by T. If we go in, we figure out what the T is. Boom, here it is. This is 12 seconds. That gives us our math problem, 15 minus 24 over 12. I'll be honest with you, I didn't sit down and work these out ahead of time, so I'm going to grab my calculator. 15 minus 24 gives us negative 9. A equals negative 9 over 12. Okay. Then we divide 9 by, by negative 9 by negative 12. It gives us negative 0.75. This zero is completely arbitrary. I often won't include that zero, but I'll put it there so you guys clear this decimal point here. Oh, that is not a whole number. That's a decimal. Um, guys, you've got calculators, right? I'm not asking you guys to do long division by hand. I'm not asking you guys to do this, uh, you know, the hard way. So, yeah, we function of calculators, what we get. We get a negative acceleration of 0.75. 
That is every second, the car slows down by 0.75 meters per second. So after second one, it slows down 0.75. After second two, it would slow down by one and a half. After second three, it would slow down by two point two five. It's slowing down over time. Its velocity is getting smaller and smaller over time. Okay, but that's how we find our answer. We find our answer by following the steps. Problem number two also deals with acceleration, so I'm going to skip that one. Problem number four? No, problem number three. Problem number four deals with acceleration. No, it doesn't. It says how much time will it take? So that tells us where to begin. Okay. If it asks how much time will it take, we're going to use our P equation. P equals Vs minus vi over a. Step two, we're going to do what we do. All right, p equals, and we're going to go in, we're going to find vf, we're going to find vi, okay? So it says a car traveling at a velocity of 30 has an emergency and comes to a complete stop. This is our vf. What is the velocity of a stopped car? It's going to be zero. It was going 30, so this is vi, 0 minus 30 over. And it says how much time will it take for the car to stop if it decelerates at four, negative 4 meters per second squared. So here's our acceleration. Yeah, we've got some negative numbers in here. That's okay. We have calculators. As long as we put it in the calculator properly, as long as we follow step one, then we go to step two. When we go to step three, this will work out just fine on our calculator. P equals zero minus 30 is negative 30. Over negative four. Well, what's one fourth of 30? I don't know, but I can ask my calculator. P equals negative, actually it's not negative, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive, we remember. Then we end up with 0.133 repeating. That's our time. So 0.13 seconds. 0.133 seconds. That's how much time it would take to slow down. The reason we have these decimals in here is because over time I've just taken and changed these numbers just to make them just to make new problems. I leave the same story but make it a new problem with new numbers. And sometimes I have the decimals because I'm not being careful. I apologize for that, but you've got calculators for this, so you guys can handle it. Before I move on, does anyone have any questions how over how to solve for a equals Vf minus Vi over T, or how to solve for T equals Vf minus Vi over A. Anyone have any questions over these using these two uh, formulas? I'll look for the chat and see if anyone pops up any questions as I move on. Problem number five gives us an interesting problem. It says if car can go from zero to 60 and eight, what would be its final velocity after five if its starting velocity were 50? This is a compound problem. We have to solve one problem to get to the other. It's asking for Vf. So we're going to, use, we're going to write that equation now. Vf equals um, sorry, Vi plus A. But I can tell you right now that we have to do this to find A. 
We have to solve this one to solve for a. So we'll go ahead and do that. A equals 0 to 60. That's 60 minus 0 over 8. So now we can figure out what the acceleration is. That tells us that this car can accelerate 7.5. I'm just going to write this up in the corner. So I lose track of it. I'm sorry, which condition was homework? This was homework. This was homework that was assigned to each student day. It's okay if it's not done, but you're going to want to do it so you got practice because there will be a quiz coming. Okay, so the acceleration I'm going to use is going to be 7.5. All right, that's fine. We rewrite we go to step two, VF equals, well, VI, we're going to use the starting velocity from the problem, that's 50, plus A, which we found up here, we had to solve, this is A, right here, it gives us A, which is seven and a half times T, how much time? Well, So this is a compound problem. This is a problem that had two steps to it, or it had two problems there. Once we solve the one that I highlighted in green here, we can go ahead and use our VF equation. All right. So for step three, we're just going to go ahead and punch, it, punch that into our calculator. Okay. 7.5 times 5. Okay. This gives us uh, VF equals 50 plus 37 and a half, 37.5. We rewrite that via equals 87.5. I'll punch that back in the calculator, that's what I get. I'm looking for questions on this problem. Does anyone have any questions on how I solved this problem? There was an extra step here because of this bad boy. Um, and I forgot that I put that in this homework, but it's good for you guys to see. In the real world, we can look and we can see if a car can do this, if a car can do this, then we can figure out what it can do if it starts out at 50 miles an hour. Okay. This is what science does. It gives us the ability to predict. Okay. It helps us to predict. Okay, so that was a final velocity problem. Now we need to go find an initial velocity problem, and then I'll show you guys this. Let's go. This one says final velocity. This one says acceleration, deceleration, final velocity, final velocity, time interval. You know what? I don't have a VI problem on this homework. All right, I'll fix that. Chain of speeds up as it runs, it goes for four seconds and accelerates to 10. What the final velocity was 50. What was the cheetah's initial velocity? Well, we're going to use our equation VI equals VF minus AT. And I'll put this in parentheses because that's what I've done. And it gives it a nice form, right? Step two, we rewrite that. We say VI equals, well, so the final velocity from the problem, the final velocity from the problem was 50. Fifty minus acceleration from the problem, 10 times the time from the problem. VI equals 50 minus 10 times 4. Now, for those of you who are sharp with math, those of you who have done a lot of math and are, your brains are kind of warmed up, you can see that this is VI equals 50 minus 40. Or 
3i equals 10. Okay. So the cheetah was already going 10 meters per second when it saw the gazelle. That's what the story tells us. We can find that just by using the equation that I've taught you. Okay. I'll make sure that the homework that uh, I post for tonight, the extra practice, it'll have a couple of VI problems in it. I'm going to get those in there uh, actually right now. Okay. So thanks for playing. If you guys have any questions about how to solve for any of these, please refer to these examples. And then if these examples don't make any sense, if these examples uh, don't help you find these, uh, please text me, message me in the chat. We'll make it Monday's homework. When I said there was no homework, I meant in history, but I'll make no homework for science either. I don't, I don't see the point in it. We'll just move that to Tuesday. Um, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna give you guys homework for Monday night, and uh, but it'll include some VI problems as well. All right. If you guys have any questions over this homework, again, please refer to. Um, Please refer to these examples. I think these examples do a good job of outlining how to solve these, assuming I didn't make any mistakes when I wrote the examples up. Um, and then, you know, check over your notes, check over the previous homework we did. If you still can't get it figured out um, and you need to get a hold of me, go ahead and hit me up by text or hit me up in this chat. We'll be on here for another five minutes or so in case anyone has any questions. All right.